Welcome back to 13 News Now at Noon, Thinking Pink. This October, we are spreading awareness for breast cancer, and Here for the Girls is helping people understand breast health and breast cancer education in an attempt to improve the lives of young women affected by breast cancer. This group is hosting an educational panel tomorrow to expand their annual health guide and share the stories of young women who've been diagnosed. So joining me now on behalf of Here, of the Girl, Here for the Girls, we have Executive Director Chris Schwab. I can't talk today. Chris Schwab, my goodness. <laughs> That's good. Many times I've said your name and VCU assistant professor, Dr. Arnithia Sutton. So we thank you both for being here. Thank you. You know, we talk about breast cancer all throughout the month um, and, you know, being aware of the signs and all of these things, but there's so much education behind breast cancer awareness. So can we talk a little bit about that first? I and mean, Chris, here for the girls, there's so many components to the organization. Education is a huge part of that. It, it is, and it's, it's one of our pillars. Thank yeah. you for asking that. So knowledge is power, yeah, um, and we all know that. But to, to have that power, you really need to work with um, the people that are the experts and collaborate and come together you know, as a community. And if we come together and we're getting that information over to people who have not been diagnosed, you know, our survivors, and then even pass the diagnosis because things change so much. But um, it's, it's important to do that. Absolutely. And, you know, Dr. Sutton, I know you're a board member. We were talking about this, you know, just before we got back from commercial break with Here for the Girls. And you're also over at Virginia Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. So, you know, obviously education important to you, right? But I understand you're, you're working to spread education and awareness in the community. Can you talk a bit about your work? Yeah, so, you know, we find now that it's more important for people to understand that there's life beyond breast cancer. Yeah. And life beyond breast cancer for many survivors is not what it was before the cancer. So there's a focus on survivorship and what some of the, the challenges that come with survivorship. Fertility issues, you know, um, issues with other organs. Um, a study recently came out that showed one of the top issues is mental health issues, specifically depression and post-traumatic post -traumatic stress disorder. So, mm -hmm. you know, not only like educating the community, but educating survivors that th these challenges may come, they're normal, they're natural, and um, just having that opportunity to work with a host of organizations like Here for the Girls and other providers to spread that information that awareness. Absolutely. Yeah. So there's an event coming up tomorrow, 6 o'clock. Is that right, Chris? Tell us about this event because the real opportunity here to learn a lot more about breast cancer. So it is tomorrow evening, 6 okay. o'clock. It's a webinar. Um, so if you went onto our site and you're able to register. But it has six panelists. Um, okay. So we have someone from Riverside, Centera, VCU, of mm -hmm. course, um, Comprehensive Cancer Center, Myriad Genetics, North Beach Plastic Surgery, um, and then Virginia Oncology Associates. Um, so to, to pull together people from all the different, you know, localities and businesses, it's, it's just a great, a great thing. It gives the community um, many different perspectives. Will there be chances to ask questions? How is it going to work? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We have two of our calendar ambassadors moderating it. Wow. Oh, and if you haven't had a chance to check out the calendar ambassadors, we did several stories this month with some of the, the young ladies and just some incredible stories, incredible women for sure. So make sure you check out that webinar. Give us the website one more time to sign up and get more information. It's um, hereforthegirls.org um, and register it in the know. Awesome. And Dr. Sutton, you know, before we go, again, going back to that education component, what do you want people to understand about breast cancer that maybe they might not be aware of? There are so many things that are usually associated with breast cancer, but there might be some facts out there that are kind of shocking for folks. Yeah, I think it's important for people to understand um, nationally, you know, when we look at like the racial disparities. So nationally, you know, black women are more likely to die from breast cancer when compared to white women. The recent data show that they're 38 percent more likely to die from breast cancer than white women, which is a disparity because they're actually less likely to develop breast yeah. cancer. And so I think it's important for people to know that there are those disparities. There are differences in urban and rural women, LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. And so just understanding that everyone does not face this journey the same and they don't have the same quality of care and experiences. And I think that's just a nice, um, something nice that everybody should be aware of when they're even encountering this space. Yeah, really, you don't know what you don't, you know. don't know. So that's why right. we encourage you to attend this yep. webinar. Again, hereforthegirls.org. It's happening tomorrow, October 30th at 6 o'clock. Learn, learn, learn and make sure you share. Ladies, thank you so much thank for being you. here. Thanks, Ashley.